Hey, I'm Gordon Waite. I'm currently deep into fine grinding on this 20 inch F4.5 quartz mirror. Uh, right now I'm using 5 micron aluminum oxide to grind. My normal sequence of fine grinding on a mirror is 25 micron, then 12 micron, 5 micron, 3 micron, and 1 micron. I finish up with 1 micron. Well, a lot of people don't grind even with 5 micron let alone three or one micron. <laughs> but uh, I find that by doing these fine grinds, not only does it shorten my polishing time, but I end up with a very nice sphere on these mirrors and uh, it uh, doesn't take all that long to do. Uh, I've developed some special techniques to be able to do the fine grinding like this. Uh, these fine grits are prone to scratching a little bit and uh, basically uh, you have to be a little bit extra careful and use a little uh, uh, technique to get it to work. The first thing is that I uh, use all of the abrasive mixed with water and I squirt it on wet. Uh, some people try to put the abrasive on with a spoon at this finer abrasive levels. That doesn't work very well. You need to be able to distribute the abrasive a little bit and uh, putting it on wet works far, far better. The second thing is if you're going to go down to super fine abrasives uh, using fixed post grinding like this helps out a lot. With fixed post grinding, where we keep the tool in one place with a hangover uh, on one side of the mirror, keeps the tool in one place and it gives you a very, very good spherical grind. The other thing is it's not harsh. Uh, the tool goes over gently over the edge of the mirror and uh, you don't have the back and forth action which can be prone to some problems later on. But the biggest secret of all to going down to the finer abrasives is I don't want to have to remove the tool from the mirror any more often than uh, I, I really have to. Um, because anytime you do that, you have to slow the machine down, stop it, and then take off each of the weights and pull the uh, tool off to the side and then lift it up. And every time you lift it off, you of course have to put it back for the next grind. And every time you have that operation of removing the tool and putting the tool back and getting it all ready to go, you increase the chance of putting a scratch on the mirror, plus it just takes a lot of time. So the technique I've developed is to go ahead and change grades of abrasives while the machine is in operation. So I don't stop the machine to change abrasives, I just continue to uh, operate as I do the changeover. So right now I'm currently on 5 micron and I'm about to change over to 3 micron. And I'm going to show you how I do that changeover. Now the first thing is you need a paper towel. I use plain old Bounty white paper towel, nothing special about it. I take a full sheet, fold it down in quarters, and then one more fold over so I've got it in eighth of a sheet, but uh, all bunched up like that. And I've got my three micron, I've been using the five micron, and now I'm going to switch over to three micron abrasive got the 3 micron all ready to go. Uh, shake it up a little bit, make sure we're ready to roll. Now I'm going to add a little uh, spray water onto the mirror to make sure that I've got everything well liquefied and ready to roll. And basically I'm just going to take the paper towel, put it down on the mirror, and uh, clean off the 5 micron without slowing the machine down. So here's how I do it. I just take the pad of paper towels, touch it down and move it slowly out to the outside of the mirror and off. You can see the abrasive and spent spent abrasive and broken glass on there and then right away I squirt more on the mirror, more water. I flip the pad over so the clean sides in my hand here and do the operation again. Now you can already see on the mirror that almost all of the abrasive is gone from the mirror. And you can see on the pad that uh, it's all there now. But just to make sure, we'll do it twice more. Eat up the rest of the paper towel. I wait just a little bit of time as I spray this on so that the abrasive that's working underneath the tool can get out. But whatever you do, you don't want this to go dry. You want to keep that nice and wet. Now this will be my final pass. And 
there we go. You see how much more was on the beginning than the end there. And now I can go right onto the 3 micron. And with the new abrasive, it takes a little while to get work back under the tool. So I just keep sprinkling it on. charge up a little bit. With 3 micron and 1 micron it's uh, difficult to get it underneath the tool. We don't have much space in there. You know the gap is well less than 3 microns at this point. So uh, it's hard to get the abrasive to go underneath the tool. Most of it goes right around and gets pushed off the edge. But right now you can start to see some uh, white swirls come up so that you know it's, it's starting to get un under there and starting to work. And that's it. Now, now I'm down at 3 micron. 5 micron is behind me. I'll uh, run this th 3 micron on this mirror for maybe uh, oh, 20 or 30 minutes and then I'll switch over to 1 micron. And then we're done and this mirror will be ready to polish at that point.